Hey guys, my name is Caesar, and in today's video, I will show you how to combine fusion clips and compound clips to save time and make your workflow more efficient. So first, let's create a new fusion composition and create a simple animation. Let's click two times in your fusion composition to open the fusion tab. I will add a test node and a single line. This will be our animation. So here is our animation. Very simple title but enough to demonstrate the technique. So let's return to the edit page. Now let's add our fusion composition to the timeline. First you notice is the usage information is empty and this is a very important sign. I will add one more time and the usage column is empty. And the reason why is because the fusion composition in the media pool is not the same that the fusion composition in the timeline. I know, look the same and have the same name, but trust me, they are completely independent clips. You can even delete these clips from the media pool and not will change in the timeline. Let me show you. I will make a small change in the animation, like change the test color. So as you can see, all clips here in my timeline remains white. They are not updated. So in order to update this animation, I will need to replace all clips in the timeline, which are not the best workflow. Okay, so let me show you how to update all clips at the same time. So select the fusion composition, right click and select new compound clip. I will call fusion update. Now take a look at the usage column. This indicates that both content are the same. I will add more copies and now we are using this compound clip four times in our timeline. And here is the best part. If I need to update this animation, all we need to do is right click in the compound clip and select open in timeline and go to fusion tab. Let's change the test color and return to our timeline. So now, our four clips are automatically updated, so we don't need to go one by one or replace our clips. Because the content in the timeline and media pool are the same, we can just select the clip directly in the timeline and select Open in Timeline to make any adjustment. It's the same process. Again, our clips are automatically updated. If for some reason you just need to update one clip in the timeline without changing the others, you can select the compound clip and select decompose in place. This will make this clip a single fusion composition again. So now we can make any changes and view only be applied to this particular clip. So this is a very powerful way to work. Let me show how this works in a real project. So here I have a training video with almost two hours timeline. So I definitely don't want to change manually our animations. In this project, this animation is repeated eight times along my timeline. So if I need to update the animation, let's say change the exclamation color, for example, I will just select the compound clip in the media pool and make my changes. Now my timeline is updated and I don't need to find one by one 
to manually update the content. This is a huge time saver. So next time, consider combining your Fusion Clips with Compound Clip. It's a very nice way to work. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye!